Satsu Luis Noguera Serrano, President of the European Movie Society. And I am here today to record and publish to all of you the second video of my series, My Experiences. In this series, I am uh, performing after my graduation as Sidoshi. I am explaining to all of you my, uh, my experiences, my reasons towards uh, the several subjects studied in Bugay. Uh, in this case, I am going to, to treat a topic that is the, an investigation of archery. Um, all of the Sidosi and along all the studies that we have in Bugay, we are always encouraged in order to search and investigate uh, regarding uh, the, in depth the different material, the different subjects, the different uh, disciplines that we deal inside Bugay, then in this case I want to show you and explain you some investigations that I am having after, before being Sidosi and after especially uh, that uh, covers the idea of the, the archery, especially the season archery. Then I am asking different archery masters and I am looking for the origins of the archery. Of course, we could talk about several tribes uh, along all Eurasia and of course archery uh, starts uh, since the most ancient times. In the old civilizations we have the archery as a way to hunt and a way to fight and use the distance in war. Of course, but my uh, purpose today is to go through our origins as Sisen people. Uh, the Sisen uh, deal with, an, with a bow that is uh, quite different from the Japanese bow. Then, in fact, when you are going to, to, to look at this video, surely uh, if you look myself, dressed with the hakama, dressed with the traditional uh, Japanese uh, clothes, surely you will say, oh, uh, the first this is not true because this bow, of course, is not a Japanese bow. And it's true, this bow is not a Japanese bow. I have tried uh, in this video to show you uh, the, uh, the one that is more close to, um, uh, to a season bow that it's quite linked to the Aino bow and it comes from the Jomon era. In this case, what I, we have uh, in our hands, it's a symmetrical bow, it's not an asymmetrical like the Japanese, and it's a long bow that the purpose was the use for hunting. Of course, when, the, uh, when cultivating and having the gathering, they don't have or they lose uh, all the gathering, they need to hunt in order to, to look for ways for, uh, for keeping and sustaining their lives. Then in that way, they use these kind of bows, of course, using what it's the bamboo, etc. The use of that bows, uh, we have shown here, in the video you will see that have white stripes around a black, a black bow. Uh, this was used in order to make camouflage, as to say, to hide between uh, the forest because the employment of this uh, kind of bows was in the forest. And uh, they employ uh, the bow covering with the, with, the, um, with the plants, covering with the trees, the trunks. When you deal going aside of a trunk, covering yourself, putting the yeah, putting the arrow in the bow, going up and going down in order to protect yourself and shoot the, the arrow. In that way, of course, when we are moving, we have to take care because we cannot put the bow transversal because if you move transversal in a bamboo forest of course it would be very difficult then a season they have to move so quickly in the forest then they cannot lose time making uh, blocks with the bamboo 
and then need to use to run away from the enemy, run away from what is happening around them. In that way, uh, they employ the bow in a vertical line, okay, or in a diagonal line because the bamboo trunk lets to uh, to to locate the uh, the bow and the side in order to prepare for the next arrow in order to 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 shoot. What I have performed in this video are three of the most ancient ways studied by the season in order to suit the arrows. They were called uh, Ito, Nito and Joto. The first one, the Ito, is explained in order, it's like the, the first rank and the idea is to close the rank of the uh, distance with the enemy. Then what we are uh, doing while we are shooting, it's we are advancing. Say so we are gaining a space to the enemy, to the enemy or to the or to the hound. Then what we are doing is going, putting the arrow in the uh, in the bow at your side, going up, going down, putting at this side, and from here, shoot and. After this, moving quickly up and running away in order to continue shooting. The second way that we have performed is to shoot and run away out. It's when you are trying to escape for uh, something that is happening in a side that maybe it's running after you. Then you need to shoot and move back locate again, suit, and running while you are preparing the next arrow. Then this is the second way to, to, uh, to, to suit. In these two situations we have several positions. We could knee down the forward knee in order to locate and protect him using the, the, uh, the, the environment as a defense and of course doing in order don't watching the enemies where are you putting yourself then for example there are some ways that you put the bow in the uh, uh, in the in the ground and you prepare in order to locate and shoot again these are several ways to prepare the arrow and as I am explaining shoot after this the third way it's called Joto Joto is the way for shooting so quick. You stay in one position and what you need to do is to shoot, shoot, shoot and shoot. The idea is to make repetition, the, uh, uh, making fire with the several arrows that you could have. Other of the characteristics that maybe you will find strange where is I am done uh, wherein I am not carrying a keeper with me. What I have, it's the, uh, the arrows I have here because they need to do it very, very fast because this that in the beginning was employed for hunting reasons, right after will be employed for battle when the season needs to defend against the invasors. Then, in that way, what we are dealing is a way so fast to take out the ya, uh, prepare, locate, and after this, going up and fire after this. Then, this is other characteristic, so special, that differs uh, with the most traditional way of, uh, of, uh, of uh, firing or employing the bow in the Japanese tradition. Of course, the way started to get more formal and there are some ways that of course we employ the two ya as the same way we employ the long bow, we employ the regular bow, regular uh, Japanese bow, but what we are dealing today is about anthropology. We are not uh, talking about Edo period when uh, all the uh, uh, traditions start to get arranged. 
In the past, and in or especially in our season tradition, this kind of salt we use in what are the, the traditional uh, rituals because we use the season used to fire against some fan, put it in a bamboo or some uh, mask, also hang it in, in a bamboo in order to fight or to kill uh, what they believe that were Oni demons. And they employ this kind of fires in order for ritual and rites purpose. Then, of course, what we are trying to explain today is not other way of studying, it's not other way of Kyujutsu. Kyujutsu is a, in our tradition, it's a wide range uh, explanation, it's a wide range um, uh, material subject that we study, and in this case, what I am trying to explain you, to show you, it's the part that links us to the way of hunting, the way of uh, the way of fighting, also in the battle, but employed by the uh, tribal people, employed by the people that don't have, after several centuries, the technology and the capacity to have other types, other kinds of bow. Then, uh, to end this video, only thank you for all the attention. I hope uh, I have solved and I have uh, answered the most of the question that surely you will you will have regarding the way that I am shooting in this video. Of course, I I offer you the possibility as to to contact us in order to know more about uh, these types of suits, these types of fires in employing this kind of bow that they were different from the regular or the most normal or the most known way of firing the Japanese bow. Then, uh, thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed and keep watching our videos, please, because surely you will like all the quality that we are performing. Thank you very much.